Hello, I am back with a, a new video. This time I am trying to tell, speak about diet. Diet is the, the, is the um, intervention which is the easiest as well as the uh, one which will provide immediate results and show immediate results in your blood sugar. And before I go into my own diet, which is a low carb, high fat diet, where we eat lots of uh, saturated fats like butter, ghee and coconut oil, as well as unsaturated fat like uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil, I am first coming with a conventional way, an accepted way of uh, eating. That will also show immediate results in your blood sugar levels. And this conventional way of eating has been accepted by why I'm saying it is conventional is because uh, it is the way that has been recommended by CDC Center for Disease Control USA Canada and our Indian Medical Association so that is uh, what the doctors say when I say what the doctors don't say I want you to understand what the doctors say first and if if possible adopt that way and if you adopt the, this uh, food eat way of eating, this way of eating, you will immediately see results and your diabetes will come under control. I am 100% sure of that. Whether you will come off medication, I don't know. It may take a little time, but you can come off medication also, depending on the uh, pancreas and the liver, how healthy they are. And if you eat this way, you will lose weight and you will melt the visceral fat and you will be able to reverse diabetes if you add the other steps also like the exercise and meditation etc so let us see what do they say how much to eat and how to eat each meal i with my granddaughter has uh, i have put together a uh, a video of the advised the current advice of how everybody should eat and for diabetics the recommendation is what is uh, the the recommendation is a little different and this method is called the food plate method it is very difficult to count your carbs count your uh, protein count your uh, fats so instead this method is very easy and easy for everybody to follow and it is called the food plate method you take a plate in which you're going to eat if you are eating in a big plate take a smaller plate because um, research has shown that when you are eating in a bleak plate you tend to serve yourself bigger servings and tend to eat more so take a smaller plate divide it into four and one half should be filled with vegetables and vegetables does not mean your uh, cauliflower manchurian or anything it means pure vegetables vegetables you can steam you can saute with very little oil you can sweat without oil or you can have raw depending on which vegetable you are having and those vegetables should as far as possible be of different colors because the colors provide a lot of antioxidants and if you eat only green colored vegetables you will get only that particular uh, compound into your body the north indians are very lucky to have purple carrots and purple uh, uh, this uh, turnips etc we don't get those here orange purple green red yellow all these colors are to be included either together or by rotation some vegetables match some vegetables don't match so compile a salad of matching vegetables buy some have uh, it for two or three days you use it every day a little bit and the next uh, time you buy buy a different variety or use seasonal vegetables so, but you should use a variety of vegetables you don't have to use um, sweet peppers and uh, broccoli every time you can use bindi you can use pumpkin pumpkin is a starchy vegetable so as far as possible diabetics should avoid starchy vegetables no potato no sweet potato uh, and no beetroot as uh, uh, except in small quantities you can have carrots preferably raw and uh, the cucumbers, carrots, tomatoes, then lettuce, all these things can go into your salad. So those things are to be combined and that should be half your plate. And for a salad dressing, you can use vinegar, 
or uh, a little bit of salt and pepper or vinegar if you put salt and pepper and keep it for some time they will wilt because of the salt and a little water will run out you eat that it is very easy to chew you can have it in many many ways i will come i will later on show the many salads that i make so that is one thing you can have the salad 50 percent then quarter of the plate you have your starch you can have one chapati or uh, i have a um, I had two uh, string hoppers. They are very, they take very little flour. Vehicles away. Or uh, two idlis if you are were having four, two idlis and if you can later reduce it to one. And the other quarter you can fill with protein. You can have eggs, you can have uh, egg whites are what they recommend. But I would say you can have a whole egg, you can have chicken, you can have fish uh, or you can have uh, uh, paneer, you can have other uh, protein sources like pulses, dals, uh, soaked nuts and um, <coughs> sprouts or cooked pulses and dals or the chundal, things like that can become your protein. You can have chicken, fish or eggs or you can have vegetable protein sources. So fat will come in all the cooking naturally and you can have a small category of milk and milk products like fruit, uh, your curds, dahi with the lunch, <coughs> sorry, uh, or you can have uh, milk with your coffee, tea, etc. A little bit of that. The only component which does not contain any carbohydrate is the animal protein. Eggs, fish and meat does not have any carbohydrate. The other animal protein like milk and uh, uh, paneer have their own carbohydrates, lactose, that is a sugar. Lactose, galactose are all there in the milk. So when you think that I'm not eating enough carbohydrate, I didn't have enough rice, remember that the, all those vegetables have carbohydrates, the pulses and dals have carbohydrates, the nuts have carbohydrates, the milk has carbohydrates. So your carbohydrate intake is beyond what you take as the rice or the chapati or the puttu or the appam or the idli or the dosha all these give you carbohydrates the vegetables give very little carbohydrate they are more uh, fibers and micronutrients so you are you become uh, you get all the micronutrients your body requires generally we are deprived of this and we have to eat uh, take supplements if you are not having enough vegetables the uh, the, no, animal protein, they also have their fat soluble vitamins etc. But you don't get what you get from vegetables from the animal protein. So your diet should definitely contain all these things. For us, uh, this vegetables in a greater quantity, a little bit of nuts, you can have a snack or you can have as per your protein source. You can have pulses, dals, lentils, you can have fish, chicken, eggs, but everything within the quantities prescribed by the food plate so my daughter granddaughter and i have put together a food plate which i will add to this video so enjoy watching thereafter i will give you my diet this is not my diet this is the recommended diet which can also bring immediate results because you are cutting your carbohydrates cutting carbs is the crux of controlling diabetes and the easy way to cut carbs i'm saying crab is through adopting the food plate so let us go on to the next portion of the video the presentation this is the way we generally eat we eat more carbs and less of vegetables and protein and less of fruits also and when we eat more carbs those carbs go to uh, adding to the spikes in blood sugar and we are eating simple carbs like rice and wheat flour it is always rice and roti or biryani whatever it is it is more and more carbohydrates the food plate takes uh, makes a different pattern less carbs more vegetables and fruits and uh, a specified amount of protein and fat this is the food plate the one half is filled with vegetables and fruits and out of the fruits the diabetics can have only certain fruits that are not too sweet sara and i have created a food plate uh, and as I am a vegetable, vegeta as I am a diabetic, the food plate contains only uh, sour, 
fruits so this is the food plate we have taken a plate and we have divided it into four sara has divided it into four using moon beans and uh, as markers and then there is a salad and there is some string hoppers which we have which we are having for dinner and chicken curry so now we add the vegetables fruits and the idiyap or the string hoppers and chicken the fruit here is pomelo a sour kind of fruit so uh, like a grapefruit so here is sara with the food plate which is divided and now i have filled it with the under her supervision with the vegetables the chicken and the string hoppers the string hoppers are very light and does not contain much flour so this is the plate that we have created and uh, some of the vegetables that we are using so the many colored vegetables contribute to many colored antioxidants so we should always have very uh, a variety of vegetables so the protein is the chicken curry the starch is the idiyap but if you want to eat say something like a sweet potato or a, uh, or a boiled potato you have to replace the starch with that potato or boiled potato or tapioca take out the idiyapam or the chapati and instead eat the sweet potato or boiled potato so for vegetarians what do they do they cannot use the chicken curry the vegetarians can use pulses lentils and legumes dals nuts soaked nuts etc here is our vegetarian plate in our vegetarian plate we are using um, moong which has been soaked and which has started to sprout we can saute add little on onion vinegar salt and pepper and make it tasty or we can make it into a curry to eat with the string hopper so this is the vegetarian plate that we have created and the fruit the red thing you see is the pomelo on the side it is like a grapefruit a combination of grapefruit and orange or something it is supposed to be very healthy it is sour so i could eat it so sara seems to be very happy with the food plate so if you have enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and also share this is the food plate recommended and the dairy comes on the side of it a small quantity thank you for watching thank you please comment subscribe like and share thank you